my name is Sami from ERP Hub, and today we'll show you how to create reports, including charts and pivot tables using your data on Zoho Analytics. Let's get started. When you first enter into Zoho Analytics, on the left navigation panel, you have all the modules that are available. And over on the left hand side, there's also a reports tab. When you pull in your data sources, you can see there are a lot of reports that Zoho Analytics allows you to choose from. If you're getting started with Zoho Analytics, I would go through each of these reports and see if they match your business process. Now, these are based on default usage of the CRM, so you may need to make minor adjustments to these templates based on your business. However, it is a good place to start to see what you're exactly capable of in this platform. Now I'll be showing you how to create a report from scratch and show you some things that you should consider as you're creating it. This green button here is where you'll get started. You can just click on this and here you'll see the various reports that you can create from. For the first example, we'll go with the pivot table. So you can click on this here. And the first thing that it's going to ask you is what your base module or your base table is. For this example, we'll do the deals module. And it's important to know that this is not the only table that you'll have available for reporting. It will call this the primary table that your reports will branch out from. In this case, we'll be again making it on the deals module so you can select that. Once you've chosen the module that you want your report to revolve around, which is deals, it will take you to this builder page where you can start building your report. The first thing you need to do is label and name your report at the top. We'll call this deals and pipeline by closing month. So we'll make a report that shows how much money is available in each of the stages in your pipeline and when you're expecting for these deals to close. When you're creating it, there are two factors that you can use for grouping, which is columns and rows, and then you have your data. You can start adding columns to these sections to get started. The first thing I'm going to do is let's say we want to have a grouping based on the month we expect the date to close. So the first thing we would do is just drag that onto the rows section. And when you do that, you can click on the drop down next to it and pick what type of date you want. There's different formats that you can use and it could be whatever you want to show on your report. So for this case, we can do month and year. And let's say now we want to show the amount. So we would just search it up here and drag it over to the data section to display on our report. So now when you click on the generate pivot, it will show you that report table right here in the bottom. And let's say now that we want to make our pivot table more specific. If we have deals that we're expecting to close this month, we may want to know which stage they're in. If they're on an earlier stage or the chances of closing are lower, then we may want to push back the closing date to make it more, I guess, efficient. To do that, we can grab the stage and put it onto the row section. And once you click generate report, it will show you exactly what stage they're at when they're closing. Now, if we wanted to see each deal, then we would just have to drag the ID onto the row section as well. And that would just show it even more specific report where it's identifying which specific deal is showing up and the amount and the stage that they're in. This will pretty much show you the sum within each month, within each stage, and the values for each specific deal as well. One other thing you may want to do, you may not want to know the specific deal, but the amount of deals. To do that, you would just need to grab the unique ID value and just drag it over to the data section. And once you do that, you can click on this drop down arrow and select distinct count. And this will show the count of unique IDs in each of the stages and months. And you can play around with the values and even change it to average deals and add custom formulas as well by clicking on here. And there's a bunch of different options that they have available here. So it's best to just play around and make sure that you're comfortable with each of the functionalities that are available to create the best reports and make the best decisions based on those reports. Now I'm going to be creating a chart on Zoho Analytics and it follows the same process as when you're creating a pivot table. You would just click on this green button here and choose chart view 
And once again, similar to when you're creating a pivot table, it's gonna be asking you to choose a select base table or a module in your CRM system that you would want to create your report out of. Let's do another chart based on our deals. And once you've done that, you can click on okay and it will take you to the builder page. When you're working with a chart, a lot of things work the same way, but there are some things that are a little different. When you're thinking about an active pipeline, we can create as our name. You're usually thinking about it by the stages that make it up, which is how your pipeline is pretty much defined. So you could grab the stage field and drag it on to the X axis right here. And when you click on generate, you will get a basic data visualization of a pie chart based on the count of deals in each of the stages. It's pretty simple. Now this is nice, but you may want a different visualization to represent your data. You may want to choose from a variety of reports and report types by toggling through the various options here. If you click on the three dots here, you'll see that there are more options and you can actually click on this arrow and you'll see more. Now, it's important to figure out what the right way is to represent your data. If we're thinking about a funnel or a pipeline, you may want to use a funnel chart. So if we click that here, you can see now that it is showing a different visualization, breaking it down into the various stages of your sales pipeline in a funnel format. Currently, we have our active sales pipeline, and it's in a funnel based chart view. And it's a pretty basic visualization and it represents the amount of prospects or leads that are in the various stages of our sales pipeline. If you head over to this compass here, you can quickly identify the amount of prospects that are in each of our stages. You may want to take it a step further and include the amount as well. You may have a bunch of small deals that are much more important than one big deal that you want to represent in your sales pipeline chart. So to do that, you could just drag the amount onto the Y axis. And once you click on generate here, rather than being sized based on the count of deals, it's based on the amount. So now if you head over to your compass, you'll know how much money is on the line for each of the stages that you have in your sales pipeline. Now, say you want to take it even a step further. You want to show the count of prospects that are in each of your sales pipeline. So you could do that by having a unique identifier. In this case, it would be the ID, the deal ID, and you would just drag it over to the text column. Now, once you've done that, you would have to click on the drop down menu because right now it's going to show up as a sum, but we really want the distinct count. So once you do that and click on generate, you can see that the sizes and the legends are still based on the Y axis, but the amount of deals in each stage is shown on the side as well. That makes up the total amount in your compass. You can also change the order of how your pipeline is represented in your chart by clicking on this sort button here on the top left. And here you have ascending and descending options for your X axis and your Y axis. And if for some case those don't work out for you, there's also a custom sort option here and you can order it however you want it to be represented on your chart. And once you're done, you would just click on apply and it would show up here. And that's pretty much a basic quick tutorial on how to create pivot tables and charts on Zoho Analytics. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to our channel for more insight and tips on Zoho. If you need help with anything Zoho related, please visit us at erphub.com to schedule a free call. We'll see you next time.